नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर हेच एस प्रेम योर डायटिशियन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ ब्रेकफास्ट फॉर आर्टिस्टिक चिल्ड्रन यू मे बी हैविंग अंतिम नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन विथ रिगार्डिंग दिस टॉपिक सम मे आस्क वाई ब्रेकफास्ट टू बी गिवन सम से वॉट ब्रेकफास्ट टू बी गिवन सम इवन से आर चिल्ड्रन आर वेरी फसी to eat something in the morning टू ईट समथिंग इन दॉर्निंग टाइम्स समसे चिल्ड्रन थ्रो टेम्पर टैंट्रम्स वाइल हैविंग ब्रेकफास्ट लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड द फिजियोलॉजिकल डिमांड ऑफ द चाइल्ड ड्यूरिंग मॉर्निंग आवर्स चिल्ड्रन विल हैव देर सफर समवेर अराउंड एट पी एम इन द इवनिंग एंड गो टू बेड दे गेट अप इन द मॉर्निंग समवेर अराउंड सिक्स और सेवन with empty stomach during this 8 to 10 hours of fasting the sugar level dips down in the blood and also children go dehydrated low sugars in the blood and dehydration make the child lethargic so the child feels lazy to get up from the bed a small cup of water just 100 ml is enough need not have to give liters of water if the child like to have warm water you can give warm water this helps rehydration and not only it rehydrates the child it even helps the child to pass the motion easy the best breakfast for the child is it should supply carbohydrate I have already told you, eight to ten hours of fasting dips down the sugar level. Reduced sugar level reduces the attention span and the memory of the child. After having the breakfast, child should go to school and be attentive in the class. If the child is not attentive, his learning will get affected. Give plenty of. cereal food they are very rich source of carbohydrate cereals means imported packaged artificially colored artificially flavored cereals no that's not cereals means or cereal food means idli dosa upma roti chapati phulka kichdi are all cereal based indian food they provide not only carbohydrate they even supply protein to the child to support the growth and development of the child so when you supply enough of carbohydrate to the child in the morning the child feels good and will be attentive in the class hours apart from this carbohydrate and protein the other two important nutrients are folic acid and b12 folic acid you get automatically from all traditional breakfast preparations when it comes to b12 most of the parents think for b12 they have to depend on fleshy food on animal based uh, foods it is partially correct it is not 100% correct baby vegetarian foods are not good sources of b12 but if you germinate these legumes automatically you will get b12 because the legumes during sprouting synthesize b12 apart from that if you keep the child's gut healthy the intrinsic factor in the body synthesizes b12 to keep the child gut healthy provide organic foods if foods are grown in artificial condition like using too much of uh, pesticides and fertilizers do interfere with the intrinsic factor and affects the synthesization of b12 so you make the child feel happy and make his morning pleasant 